Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. The stock of AMC has continued to rise. Therefore, they have lost a great deal of money here. However, they cannot afford another favorable catalyst or event for AMC. If there is doubt that AMC will fail without this reverse split, I could make an argument or it would make sense to me why shorts are not hedging out or covering their short positions more quickly. If this belief is dispelled during earnings season, AMC will be all right regardless. I believe that increases the number of shorts hedging short positions. Now, I will mention briefly to keep an eye out this weekend to see if First Republic enters receivership. Previously, this was an optimistic event for the markets. I am not persuaded that it will be bullish this time because we will not receive the same deposit deposit assurance. Right. The financial institutions that deposited $30 billion into First Republic will not be spared. In my opinion, this will cause the markets to experience some panic. So this is something to keep an eye on in the impending week. Now, in terms of economic data, let's begin on Monday. And that date will be May 1st. Keep in mind as well. You've already heard this. Sell in May and then depart. This is a commonly used expression on Wall Street. Sell in May and then depart. The market may begin to experience more than seasonal negative selling pressure. Hence, bear this in mind. Monday at 10 o'clock am, the ISM manufacturing PMI is released. You anticipate 46.5. The previous month's value was 463. Therefore, thank you for getting slightly better. That concludes Monday. Tuesday, you can anticipate approximately 9.7 million job openings to come as a shock. The number of job openings was 9.9 .9 million last month and this was the first time since before the pandemic that the population had fallen below 10 million. Right. On Tuesday at 10 o'clock a.m., JOLTS, the Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey, is also scheduled to be released, which will likely have a similar effect on factory orders. Now that concludes it. On Wednesday, the ISM Services PMI is anticipated to be 51.5, compared to last month's reading of 51.2. Consequently, we anticipate this to improve as well. The Fed will then announce its interest rate decision at 2 o'clock p.m. You anticipate a rate increase of 0.25%. They will almost certainly increase by a quarter of 1%. What statement does the Fed make next? Do they explicitly state that a hiatus is forthcoming? Or do they state that they are still data dependent? That's going to be huge. A pause is likely to be very bullish, whereas data dependent, it is likely to be less bullish. In addition, the press conference will take place at 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Now, on Thursday, the March balance of trade will not be a significant catalyst at all. And that's pretty much it. On Friday, the non-farm payroll report is released. You anticipate 190,000. Last month, 236,000 books were read. So deteriorating there. The unemployment rate is anticipated to be 3.6%. The reading for last month was 3.5%. Again, these are extremely crucial pieces of information that can and will influence the markets. Now, regarding this week's earnings, are you prepared? Monday before the market opened Sophie. Norwegian cruise carriers. Monday late afternoon, NXP and Diamondback Energy Vertex and Czech. Medium Resorts will also disclose earnings Monday late afternoon, Tuesday pre-market. Uber Pfizer BP, the Marriott International Marathon Energy, and Marathon Energy. Partners in Enterprise Product Development. And that concludes it. Tuesday evening. And Ford Energy Transfer. And insider purchases have increased recently. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, it seems to be a fairly positive omen. Let's proceed with the data and Ortex data underlying AMC stock. Currently, AMC is short $727.5 million in estimated short interest on a loan with a free float of 26.25%. 36% of shares on loan 185 million days to cover at a five-month cost to borrow of three, a trailing average of 256% and a maximum cost to borrow of 359%.